All righty. Well, thanks very much, Georgi, for this excellent introduction. Can you please quickly confirm that you can see the presentation full screen now? Yes. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. And uh, well, um, I'm happy to uh, have this opportunity sharing some thoughts on uh, why the international business program that we offer at the University of um, Business and Society in Ludwigshafen might be the right choice for you. And we understand that uh, making this choice is uh, pretty critical for you as uh, it will be uh, probably a uh, decisive uh, decision that will influence, of course, your further career and, uh, of course, your life as well. And in order to facilitate that decision, let me uh, run you through what we call the top 10 reasons why uh, joining our MBA degree in international business management might be the right choice for you. And as Georgie already said, um, we are uh, offering this program at the University of uh, Business and Society, which by the types that Georgie just introduced is a University of Applied Sciences. So uh, we are focusing and interested in making things work in uh, the real life, so to speak. Alrighty, so um, um, let's jump right into this. First reason why this might be the right uh, program for you. Uh, well, this is an MBA degree offered from a public university, which uh, means number one, which is very important, of course, for you, that um, the uh, degree you're running uh, for uh, after graduation will be internationally uh, recognized. So um, actually, we are following here a uh, long distance learning approach. So this is a completely uh, uh, online uh, program. Um, but your status, if you enroll at the University of Applied Sciences in Ludwigshafen, uh, would be equivalent, would be the same as for those who are in continued education programs, uh, who uh, in programs which are not completely run online. And in fact, you are going to receive the same MBA certificate. Um, and uh, um, the same diploma supplement as uh, those fellow students who are not in a completely distance learning program enrolled would receive. So there's no distinction uh, in that. Uh, we've been one of the first universities of applied sciences in Germany, by the way, to um, start uh, continued education MBA programs. Um, and this program has been run for years successfully as well. So uh, in fact, we are quite experienced on the one hand. On the other hand, uh, the size of the university, as you see, is, uh, well, it's a rather medium sized to small university, which means that at the end of the day, you as prospective students are not uh, enrollment numbers to us, but um, you count as individuals, which I think is uh, very important. Uh, as well for you. Second reason, uh, well, this is an officially accredited uh, program. In fact, um, this is, I think, also something you should really look for when uh, you start or when you think about studying, uh, enrolling in an MBA program in Germany, um, because actually those programs that um, uh, have uh, official recognition are they, they have to be accredited by a uh, by an uh, adequate accreditation agency and uh, we have run through this um, uh, accreditation uh, program uh, by Aquas and in fact we have been re-accredited already so um, as I said we are uh, no rookies in this uh, arena we've been in this for years and um, uh, the, uh, the re-accreditation progress uh, process uh, ran real smoothly. So um, uh, this is a program you can, you can trust and where quality has been uh, reassured. Uh, George, you also mentioned that you uh, need to make sure which program you're entering. Now, the program I'm talking about here is uh, completely run in English language. So uh, in fact, that means that you have to uh, proof that you are capable of speaking English at uh, the B2 level or higher, uh, according to the uh, Common European Framework of References for Languages. 
Um, and I'll come back to that in just a second. This means that all the, uh, all the sessions that we have um, are run in English, all the exams are run in English, and we have a pretty international uh, team of lecturers on the one hand, and a, a very international network of fellow students. And uh, for that, uh, it means that uh, we are not uh, talking uh, German there, but uh, English only. Uh, which, of course, is also, we believe, very important as we are addressing an international audience over here. Top reason number four. Um, well, the program runs over four semesters. And, um, of course, as I already mentioned, you are pretty flexible in terms of uh, joining in. Uh, because all modules are being offered each semester. So that means that you can uh, actually uh, enter the program uh, almost any time. So we start twice a year. Um, so you can enroll flexibly and um, admission will be uh, typically for what we call the summer or the winter semester. So the next deadline for uh, online registration is in mid-January. And um, the kickoff then, the first sessions will be run in March. Uh, now, one thing, of course, I uh, at least understand is quite important to you. What is the financial investment now for our program? Uh, the um, um, the uh, tuition fee is 2,250 euros per semester. So you multiply that by four and you have the uh, um, total tuition. And um, I'll come back to that in just a second. So three of those semesters, actually the first three, will be run uh, introducing you to various aspects of international business. And the fourth semester then will be reserved for, your, uh, for preparing your master's uh, thesis. Um, now, uh, returning to the question of uh, tuition fees, you uh, pay those tuition fees in three installments uh, before uh, the beginning of the respective semester. Number five reason. Um, now, um, as I already said, this is a complete uh, online uh, program, which means that you do not have to be physically present uh, in uh, Germany or on campus. Typically, we run our sessions on Fridays and or on Saturdays, and typically that is going to take place every second or, uh, or third uh, weekend. So um, the sessions that we run uh, when we introduce you to certain aspects of international business are live recorded, which means that uh, if for any reason you might not be able to participate in one of the sessions, you know, you'll not be left behind, but um, you'll have the chance of um, then having a look at uh, the session later on at a time that is convenient uh, to you. So you're, you're not missing out on anything. The only thing, of course, that you'll miss then is the uh, uh, well real-time interaction with your fellow students and the lecturers uh, to which I'll return in just a second. Now, of course, with this uh, online uh, offer, it is also important to make sure that you have access to the uh, respective uh, material, written material, online material. And uh, we provide that through uh, our virtual library and through um, uh, e-learning uh, systems uh, where you also have access to, let's say, uh, case studies that might be part of, um, uh, of the syllabus of a certain um, module. And um, uh, you have um, also, of course, the, the possibility of having access to the uh, presentations, to the PowerPoint slides, for example, that me and my colleagues use in order to uh, make you, to familiarize you with uh, those um, aspects that we believe are important for you to be successful in an international uh, career. Now, as I already said, we are not a, uh, you know, this is not a mass event. So um, uh, you count as individuals to us. You are not uh, abstract immatriculation numbers, which means that uh, you are uh, enjoying a one-to-one, -one, a one-on-one -on -one supervision, so to speak. So um, that means that um, um, 
you um, always have the possibility of directly interacting with your uh, lecturers. So this, for example, is a slide that shows one of the sessions that one of my colleagues runs. And um, you see that, uh, you know, on the one hand, of course, he's in this case doing a presentation. On the other hand, we are doing very actively uh, Q&A sessions. We engage in discussions with our students because we believe that rather learning terminology by heart or learning facts by heart, it's much more important to grasp the very nature of certain concepts in order to make them work in the real uh, business life. And this is what we, uh, what we focus on. Being a University of Applied Sciences, as I said before, this is our core uh, focus anyhow. Um, now, those sessions, as I said, are interactive by nature. Um, and um, we believe that um, it is um, uh, very important that you have the, the chance, on the one hand, not only to ask questions in order to enable your or facilitate your understanding of certain uh, concepts, but also to bring in your experience. Because uh, all the students that are enrolling in this uh, program are uh, business professionals. So um, they have already experienced from various perspectives what international business means. Actually, they are not all from the business field. Uh, so we have a variety of backgrounds in here from uh, uh, developing uh, development engineers uh, to human resources people. Um, and um, I, we believe that this is a very important um, um, asset, actually, of the program, that uh, you also share the views of your fellow students, thus have a different or learn a different perspective on things. And being able to switch per perspectives, we believe, is very important for your career also after uh, graduation. Um, and well, as I said, this will not be like um, a mass event. So you will be in direct contact with your fellow students, with your uh, supervisors, with your lecturers. And um, we are always focusing not uh, on, the, uh, on the theory behind concepts, of course, that is the base in order to understand what a concept is all about. But our focus is on um, how to implement things, how to <clears throat> make them work in uh, the real world. Number eight reason. Well, talking about internationality. Well, this is a, uh, a international program by nature and in the true sense, which means that we have lecturers from, uh, well, not all corners of the globe, but from various continents with various international backgrounds. And the same is also true for our students. For example, what you see on the left-hand side over here is... Um, uh, Hamed, he is one of our lecturers uh, for international marketing management, and he is from uh, Cairo in uh, Egypt. And um, well, you have me as a German lecturer, for example, in there as well. You have uh, we, we have lecturers from Africa, from uh, other European nations. So um, uh, we bring in this international flavor and this international perspective. We believe is a uh, is a true a game changer for you. Um, and with enrolling in our program, you do not only get access to the respective material and to the knowledge, but uh, as I mentioned before, you also get in contact with people who are in the same situation as you are and who are also keen on pushing their international careers, which means that you have the possibility of doing extensive networking with them of uh, having a, uh, a true intercultural exchange with them and um, uh, of learning their perspectives, which we believe is, is very important. So the benefits basically are a real intercultural exchange and um, a very diverse focus on different topics and subjects. Number nine reason, well, we cover most of the, uh, well, let's say we cover all of the internationally important aspects of running an international career. So, uh, for example, myself, I'm, uh, uh, I'm the lecturer also in this program for supply chain management and logistics. And, um, for example, when we uh, run this uh, uh, module, of course, you're going to get an introduction into the you know, basics, but then we will focus on, as I said before, how can we make 
things work? What, what is the actual relevance these days for, for example, in this case, supply chain management and, uh, and logistics? And uh, of course, for example, there is a very uh, up-to-date reason for you know, discussing that in an international program because we're all aware of the fact that the um, global uh, COVID-19 pandemic has um, very adversely um, affected um, supply chains and um, you know, taking care of resilience in this case of designing robust supply chains is uh, probably a, um, a game changer and a very important aspect for corporations these days who want to uh, successfully tackle the international and dynamic competition. Um, now, um, and of course, as you see, we have uh, a variety of other aspects that are important. Um, as I mentioned before, all those sessions uh, are run over the course of the first three semesters. And then uh, the last uh, semester uh, will be uh, reserved for conceptualizing and writing your master's thesis. And the master's thesis actually for most of the students that we have is a real world prob uh, problem they tackle now with the background of the education they received from us. Uh, so they tackle a solution for a real world problem in their master's thesis and typically that's a problem that they encounter in their daily business. So in fact, there is an added value as well because you take care of a problem that uh, you might have been uh, busy with for, for quite a, a time already before. And of course, this is also a good opportunity to show what you learned to your respective organization. Uh, and let me add that when it comes to those uh, optional modules that you have over here, for example, if you have a finance background or if you find finance very interesting, now this is one of the, um, uh, one of the focus areas that you could focus on by, um, having a bit of flexibility when it comes to this uh, optional module. All righty, now, uh, 10th reason for uh, choosing our uh, program is that, uh, well, we already said that we are providing a huge network of lecturers, professors, and uh, fellow students. And we are also uh, providing network and exploration trips that we had. So we've been to China. Uh, we've been to Morocco, for example, Northern Africa, and um, well, we are planning trips to um, one of our cooperation partners, which is in Scandinavia, in Finland, of course, depending on the further development of the global COVID-19 pandemic. So, um, and talking about this cooperation partner, um, now we have just finalized a double degree option for our program with this university, which is Satakunta University of Applied Sciences in uh, Finland. And uh, so if you add just one semester to the four semesters I just mentioned, uh, then you will have the chance of gaining a second degree uh, in business management and entrepreneurship from our cooperation partner in Finland. So in fact, with five semesters, you could even then graduate with two MBA degrees. Alrighty, let me quickly summarize uh, our 10, top 10 reasons for uh, thinking and taking into consideration of uh, enrolling at our university in the MBA International Business Program Management. And I'll show this in a quick video. Let me just quickly jump over to the video. Alrighty, 
So thanks. Hold on a second. Hold on a sec. Okay. There we go. So thanks very much for your attention. And in case you have any, uh, any further questions, of course, feel free to uh, ask Eva or myself. Thanks very much for your attention and back to you, Georgie.